This is Brad here at a and and I'm with uh, Adam and Ian and Lish from ABC Canberra. And we we're just chatting about how big space is and how far things are and the scales of things. So how big is stuff in our solar system? Thank you, Brad. So a lot of people don't have a good idea of how, just how enormous space is. So we know the sun is big, but just how big? So what we've done here today is we've shrunken the sun down because it won't fit in our studio to the size of this yoga ball. And we've shrunken all the other planets down by the same amount. And what we're going to do is play a little game and try to figure out just how big all the planets in our solar system would be compared to that sun right there. Right. So the first planet in our solar system is Mercury. So, Leish, would you like to take a look and find out which of the balls, different size balls here would be Mercury? I reckon the tennis ball. Oh, no. I think that's too big. Actually, given that the yoga ball is our sun, this tiny little mustard seed would be about the size of Mercury. So... Mercury is uh, the planet that's very close to our sun, although if we were to put it in the scale of uh, the sun, we would have to place it outside this building. It's so far away from the sun. It's also a tiny planet which looks like the moons with lots of craters. So moving along, Venus is our next planet. And Venus is covered in clouds, really thick clouds, and it's really hot, hotter than your oven, and the atmosphere is full of acid. So it's not a nice place to be. But Venus, it's a bit bigger than Mercury, but it's still pretty small especially compared to our sun. So we'll just put that down in front of Venus there. Right. The next planet is Earth, which just opposite to Venus is very habitable. It's very beautiful, which is why we all live here. And it's also the same little size as Venus. So I'll just put that down here. And so moving along to the last of our rocky planets is Mars. Mars is the red planet. And it's really famous lately because we've got a lot of robots on Mars and we're discovering a lot about the geology. But Mars would actually only be about the size of this peppercorn. And so it's smaller than Earth and Venus, but it's still bigger than Mercury, but still tiny compared to the Sun. And it's also tiny compared to the gas giants, which we'll move on to next. So the next planet, which is the biggest planet in the solar system, is Jupiter. Would you like to take a guess as to which among these would be Jupiter? Gas giant. It's a gas it's giant. Big. Yeah. Uh, it's not as big as that. So given that's our Sun, Jupiter would be something of this size. Right, so there we go. That's Jupiter. That's the gas giant. And that's the largest planet of our solar system. So now on to what is the prettiest planet of our solar system is Saturn. And Saturn is about this big. It's a bit smaller than Jupiter, and Saturn's got these beautiful rings that go around it. And sat next to Jupiter, its rings are actually bigger than Jupiter. But the planet itself is a little bit smaller. Right. The next planet is an ice giant, which is uh, Uranus, and it's also slightly smaller than Saturn. But the interesting thing about Uranus is that it goes around the sun on its side. What? Why is that? That's because long, long time ago when it was being formed, it probably had a huge collision with another planet which toppled it. And so that's why it goes around the side and that's why it has weird seasons. And so moving on now to the final planet in our solar system, it's Neptune. So Neptune is another ice giant and it's dark blue in color and it's the furthest planet out from the sun. And so we spoke about how far Mercury is away from the sun before at this scale. Mercury is in the car park. Well, Neptune, Neptune would be in the next suburb. It's about two and a half kilometers away at this scale. So it's even at this tiny scale, it's still a huge distance away. The solar system is enormous. So if this is the relative scale of our solar system and we know on Earth, you know, we, we're pulled down to Earth by gravity because of the size of our planet. Does, does the size that we see here affect how much things weigh on those planets? It actually does, which is why we have these water bottles here. So for example, if you take this standard water bottle, and this is, it's like a 600 ml water bottle and would weigh about 600 grams yeah. on, on Earth, right? So you must have seen those footage or clips of astronauts sort of jumping on the moon, right? That's because they feel really light on the moon. So if you had to take this bottle to the moon, it would weigh something like this. There's nothing in it. Like yes, yeah. it's, it's really light. So right. it would it'll probably be about one sixth the weight of the uh, bottle on, on, on Earth. Yep, yep. So, so why is that? Why does that weigh less? That's because the moon is much smaller. So the, how much our body would weigh on the planet would depend on how heavy it is and how big it is. Because the moon's much smaller and it's got a lot less matter, um, the same thing weighs less on the moon. Because okay, so say if you've got a gas giant, that's the biggest, is, the, is Jupiter. Even though it's made of gas, will it still have a, a bigger gravity? Yes. So Jupiter, being the biggest planet in our solar system, actually has about 300 times as much stuff in it as the Earth does. So it's huge. And if you took our water bottle to Jupiter, it would weigh like that much, which is really heavy. Heavy. So we put it on the scales. 
we'll see that on the surface, uh, it weighs about two and a half times more. And so we've given you a bit of an idea today just about how gigantic the scales are in the solar system, how much things weigh and how far apart they are. And hope you learnt a bit and know a bit more than you did uh, before we started.